Sweet, sweet, refreshing reviewing reviews. We're here, baby. We're here. It's another episode of your favorite show. That's presumptuous, but I hope it's one of your favorite shows. It's Review and Reviews. It's got to be your favorite. Come on, it's my favorite. My favorite, too. Hello, this. Mike Perkins. What's up, DJ Demers? Ooh, we said each other's names. We're mixing it up. You like that? Thank you very much for joining us. And let's just say this right off the top, because we never say it, and maybe you don't even know. These episodes are on YouTube. So if you don't just want to listen, you want the full viewing experience, uh, look for Reviewing Reviews with DJ Demers and Mike Perkins on YouTube, and you will find this episode and uh, many others as well. Yeah, just type in Reviewing Reviews uh, Comedy, Reviewing Reviews Podcast, whatever you want to do. It's mm -hmm. on the page. Subscribe, and then you can watch us every single week. Pretty cool. We get dressed. I get dressed up for the occasion. You get dressed up for the occasion. I guess so. I'm you know? <laughs> wearing a floral shirt. That's pretty dressed up. Yeah. You know what's cool now is we're like describing ourselves. So people are like, now I have to watch the YouTube to see if yeah. it actually is a floral shirt. What does he mean by floral? Yeah. And then they'll watch and be like, well, those are flowers. That's floral. <laughs> you damn you right lying. Is. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you to everyone that's been giving us, uh, you know, we've got about 30 five-star reviews right now mm -hmm. on iTunes. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for that, that's guys. That's pretty nice. That's huge. We haven't paid a single one of them. That's real all. people. No, it's all Venmo. We haven't paid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we haven't. That's just all real people. You're yeah. right. Pretty cool. That's Yeah, I think it's pretty awesome. So thank you for telling all your friends and keep it going. You know, Tell everyone you love. Keep it going. Tell everyone you love. Yeah. And speaking of everyone you love, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> what a segue. I love it. <laughs> Today's episode, we're getting a little freaky. <laughs> Ooh, the freaky deaky. You ready? I'm ready, baby. Okay, so I thought, I was looking up topics, and I was like, what's something that we haven't explored that's really interesting? <laughs> In life or on the podcast? Uh, both. <laughs> both, actually. But uh, I found a swingers club here in L.A. A swingers club, Mike, where people like to go with their significant other and just get freaky deaky. Yeah. Some people like to have sex with other people. Some people like to just watch. You got exhibitionists. You got voyeurs. You got all sorts of people just living their life at a swingers club in South Central L.A. <laughs> In South Central L.A., today was a good day. That's what you think of when you think of South Central L.A. is uh, maybe that's what rap music and swingers clubs. <laughs> maybe that's what Cube was thinking. He was talking today about. Today was a good today day. Was a good day. I went to Joy Club, a Club Joy. Damn. <laughs> club Joy is oh, weird man. for me to say because my mother's name is Joy. Oh shit! All but right. they spell it J O I, and she spells it the real way, so I'm able to differentiate. Club Joy. Club Joy. Yeah, joie. maybe. Club Fancy. Joie. Club Joy. So this place is in South Central. It is a swingers club. If you don't know what swingers are, those are couples who, you know, like to expand the boundaries beyond just monogamy. They like to bring other people in. Like I said, they like to watch sometimes. They like other people to watch. Yeah. Just kind of pushing the boundaries of what a, a, you know, quote unquote, typical relationship is. Would it be, I always get the terms confused. Would it be poly polynamorous right is that what it is i mean i think they're not necessarily the exact same thing polyamorous is when you is are in multiple, love right? yeah you have your multiple people involved in a relationship oh so that's but like that, married and stuff it could be yeah oh, like like okay. mormons are polyamorous yeah but this could just be it's not a relationship you're just you know maybe in oh, a one-to-one okay. uh, -one relationship but every once in a while you like to go get freaky yeah like yeah. that like the cuckold stuff and all that stuff yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, That's I don't know if they're doing swingers. I guess, right? I uh, guess. I don't know. People doing all sorts of things out there, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> you ever done anything like that with a girlfriend? No, I mean, I've I've been uh, I've had like <laughs> 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 I've done like kind of a three way. Oh, okay. Um, but it wasn't like, yeah, it wasn't like, hey, it's Thursday, let's go to Club Joy and do. It was like you know kind of like at a party kind of thing and you know whatever else mm -hmm. so um <laughs> go on <laughs> continue <laughs> we don't gotta get into detail of it but you know i've done that before but it was like a once kind of thing or whatever was it exciting it was exciting it was mm -hmm. pretty cool i felt pretty badass at the time i bet and i was like fuck yeah you know what i mean of course yeah so Felt cool. I don't want you guys to think any different of me. You know what I mean? I think more of you. Yeah, but I mean, not to be like, oh, he's a cool guy. He had a three-way before, you know. He's 
you know, but. If yeah. anything, I don't think you've had enough three ways. This story <laughs> is leaving me rather unimpressed, Mike. <laughs> I think I'm going to Club Joy. I think I'm going to go to Club Joy and figure it out. See, I get weird because the times I did do it, I wasn't really, we weren't, well, the one girl, it kind of almost led to it. Um, and we were in a relationship. But like these other girls I wasn't in a relationship with, mm. I wouldn't be able to do that if I, uh, I don't know. It's nothing against anybody or if you love doing that. I just, I, I'm not a jealous person, but if I know that someone else touched my girlfriend, I'm going to fucking lose my mind yeah it'd be tough you know what i mean yeah even if it's like oh we should have a three like <laughs> three way in my mind is like a guy and two girls like it's not like two guys and my girlfriend you know what i mean like it's not yeah no that one definitely yeah i, I could do like two girls two guys is a bit too yeah it's too much i don't it's... need to see another dude it's not even like a homophobic thing or anything it's just Already too many dudes around when I'm around. I'm already too much dude. If there's another dude around, I'm like, oh, I got to look at another one of you? You're way too much dude. Look at you, man. Way too much dude. <laughs> Come to the stage right now. DJ, too much dude to merge. <laughs> no, I just, I get like, I don't get jealous um, if like guys are flirting with my girlfriend or like DMing her, picking her, trying to pick her up, whatever it is. Because, you know, I'm in love with her. She's a beautiful girl. You know, whoever, like, you know, not, this, I'm not, you're not I'm with, with someone, someone right now, but, but I'm you're saying, assuming like, that she I'm would assuming, be a beautiful girl. I'm assuming, like, of course, girl. yeah. You know, um, I think she's beautiful and that's, people, other people probably think so too. But if someone touched her, I'd fucking lose my mind. So I wouldn't be able to deal with that I got you. type of thing. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, yeah. let's see how other people deal with Club <laughs> Joy. <laughs> It gets four stars, 60. I love that you call it a three-way, by the way. I've always called it a threesome. I haven't heard three-way a whole I call lot. it a three-way because it didn't lead to, like, it was almost leading to sex. Like we, So if it led to sex, then it would become a threesome? I think it's a threesome because, like, we're all having sex together. But it was more of a three-way because we were all fooling around with each other. Okay, you that's a I mean? differentiation. That's a differential, I see. I think a threesome is when you haven't even had sex. When you do have sex, now it's a three-all. Oh, here we go. Three-all. <laughs> That was just a threesome. One for, one for all, three for all. <laughs> Four stars for Club Joy on 61 reviews. And uh, we'll start with the first one here. It is a, now this is a long review, but it kind of paints a picture of what this place is. Usually okay. we kind of don't delve into the long reviews because they're not as funny and they're just a lot. Yeah. But I'm going to go through this quickly. It's a two star review. I love it. Lock right in, ladies and gentlemen. Lock right in. Yeah. This you're is you're Club, at Joy. Club Joy right now. Yeah. Warren P. from Gardena, California. Getting into the ambience of it all. You hear the you music know? playing. There's do people having do sex do everywhere do around do you. Do two stars, do June do 30th. 2019. Don't do it all Warren said, went here with my girlfriend for the first time last Friday, and this place did not make a good first impression at all. The East LA location is pretty sketchy and makes you feel like you're driving into Tijuana. It's definitely more of an older crowd of 40 to 50 plus year old couples or couples with older men with girls half their age that are possibly escorts and not a real couple. There weren't very many 20 to 30 something year old couples like us that were very good looking. The aesthetics of the whole place looks pretty cheap and the DJ sucks. I would highly recommend that you don't come in any earlier than midnight. We got there early around 9.30 p.m. and all the couples were just sitting around to themselves, not talking or mingling with other people or even dancing for hours. I haven't seen people behave like this since my middle school dance. It's pretty sad and pathetic that grown ass adults in a supposedly uber sexualized community in a city like Los Angeles that talk up a lot of game on their Club Joy online profile are scared to death to even say hello to another human being once they are in the same place together in person. Almost everyone that my girlfriend and I would talk to in the Club Joy, they're on the Club Joy online members page that said they were going and wanted to meet us, flaked out and never returned any of our messages. Eventually, my girlfriend and I decided to head downstairs to the playrooms to at least try to get the party started wow. and see if people wanted to follow our lead. And even then, everyone just wanted to watch us like we were zoo animals. We encouraged them to get naked with us, but they were too chicken to take their clothes off. Unbelievable. If you're going to be in the play areas, the least you could do is get naked when other people are getting naked too. What's the point of a swingers party if everyone is just going to stay fully clothed in the play areas and just watch? Don't be shy, people. Eventually, <laughs> other people did join in on in the other playrooms, and it did change up the mood, which made the night not a complete waste of time and money. We're willing to give this place another chance, and we'll go in again knowing what we know now. Hopefully, the next event is better. Wow. There's playrooms. Yeah, they got playrooms with couches, and like that's like 
it seemed to be the areas where you know it's going down. So it's like if you go to like a regular club club, like say you go to like the the supper club or whatever like the big club is in LA mm-hmm. or whatever it is. Like if you're like start fucking, they're going to kick you the fuck out. But this Yeah, I would <laughs> imagine. But this place like even like fucking like, you know, grind on the dance floor is different, but like even like playing, you know, doing little you know, but this place actually has a designated area for you to go fuck and get naked and stuff. Yeah, but I think you can do it pretty much wherever you want. In, in the club? I think. Even there's a smoking area outside, and people said people get freaky deaky <laughs> in the smoking area. Goddamn right they do. You know, I got to be honest. I would not go to a place like this with my wife. Uh-huh. But if I had met a different girl and married a different girl or, or was just with another girl who was into, into this kind of thing, yeah, I, I'd try it. So, you know, how do you feel as a married man? Like, great. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <Continue>. <laughs> but so, so what are your thoughts on like, okay, so you're dating a girl. Yeah. Even if it was, you know, even if it was Madge now, like if you're, you were, guys were dating, but now that you're actually officially married, how do you feel about a whole like swingers thing? Like going to this club or being like, hey, you want to. It's kind of a cliche thing I've heard in LA for like couples in their thirties to like, get into a swingers phase yeah i've heard that a lot like they've been married for a while and they're like let's do it we're in our 30s we're still young we don't want to be boring or bored yeah yeah but i don't see us doing that i don't think madge could do it yeah i'm putting words in her mouth uh-huh. and that's all i want in her mouth <laughs> no other guy i was gonna make a fucking joke and I'm i so know glad i'm like did. i'm gonna get to it before mike because nobody talks <laughs> about my wife like that but but like, like even then, like it would be tough for me. It would be you like, wouldn't be able to do. Yeah, see, no, it, she's know. my wife, and and no judgment against other people who do that. But like I said, if it was with another girl, and and it yeah. went, we went in that direction. I'm not against it, and I could see myself have been like, well, let's see what this place is all about. Yeah. But as of now, that door is shut. To me. I love this guy too. It's such a weird thing. The player was like, I started getting naked and getting the party started, but nobody wanted. Just imagine that I guy being like, come on, guys, get your dicks just out. Swinging his dick. <laughs> guys, come on. <laughs> It's me, the guy that messaged you on the online community. Come on, it's it's Door Door sixty nine. Come on, <laughs> it's a what horrible I, username, Door Door. I don't know what I said. I think they might use real names. These people are <laughs> not hiding their identities at all. Yeah. What else you got, Mike? Man. We got a. Okay, so our that next. That was Warren. He didn't love the place. He What's didn't the love next? It. One? Well, check it out, because Tracy T from Rochester, uh, Mi- M I is Missouri, right? Michigan. Michigan. Okay, uh, Tracy T from Rochester, Michigan. Uh, gave it a five-star review on March 23rd, 2016. She said, uh, her picture is also her on a beach with her with her ass out. So you know she loved this swingers club. Uh, <laughs> is that so, it? <laughs> you, sh- you got a picture with your ass? I you mean, love she's, swingers she's club. down for it, you know what I mean? And uh, she is, t- well, we'll do the first one. Um, she gave it a five-star on March 23rd, 2016. She said, St. Patty's Day Saturday party at a swingers club. I got lucky, <laughs> LOL. We stopped in for about two hours. It was packed. Great looking crowd, about half dressed the theme. My man and I had a lot of fun watching some sexy couples and then jumped in and put on a show ourselves. This club is exciting. We are into swapping. We like the voyeur aspect, though the club joy delivers with a great mix of ages 21 to 50s and a very diverse group. Drop your inhibitions and give them a try. Okay. 49 people found this useful. That's a lot of. Dude, she's got more profile pictures. She ain't just showing her butt. Tracy's a beauty. If I went to How a far swingers place, <laughs> not to Mike, come thinking, back. I'm thinking, <laughs> thinking about it. I'm thinking about going now. Right. Honestly, Warren <laughs> described it as mainly like forty and fifty year olds and stuff. That's twenty one to fifty. That's a huge age gap. Yeah, but she if if I went in and Tracy T was there, look at this one. She's showing her ass in a swimsuit, oh but she's kind of spreading her ass cheeks too. Oh, Tracy T. All right. <laughs> Jesus. Wow, we've stumbled into the sexy part of the internet. <laughs> you don't find this stuff on the gram. You find it on Yelp, baby. <laughs> so, yeah, she's loving it. You know, that's got to help the reviews for this place. If I'm like a guy wondering, is this place going to be any good? And I go and see this beautiful girl saying oh, I was there yeah. and it was fun. Like you just said, how far but is But then this you go place? there and you just see Warren shaking his dick like, come on, guys, what's <laughs> going on? <laughs> come on. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> Guys, come on. You're acting like it's a middle school dance. No, no. You're the weirdo, dude. <laughs> All right. What else we got, man? <laughs> That's cool, Tracy. Good review. Yeah. You're helping business there at Club Joy. That's for damn sure. Oh, yeah, man. Jeez. Okay. Here's an extra review from JS from Los Angeles, California. 
I love that pose showing your ass in a bathing suit, but ever so slightly spreading the cheeks as well. I've never seen that before. Just a spread. Here's JS with a one-star review, May 19th, 2018. We'd give this place no stars if possible. The owner of the club was oddly passionate about my wife trying a drink he'd prepared under the counter. He'd clearly slipped roofies into my wife's drink as she completely passed out after less than a half a plastic cup of whatever she was given, and it was her only drink. We'd not brought any drinks. He then had the nerve to stand and try to talk with us, brushing her arm with his hand in the belief that he is some sort of Adonis and that his drugs would somehow put him in a favorable position with my wife. Absolute creep of the highest order. There's a no-touch policy like any safe lifestyle establishment. This clearly doesn't apply to owner who seemed to give creepy hugs and touches to anyone he leeches over. We moved on to try and enjoy ourselves before my wife passed out and then we got the hell out of there once we realized what was going on and once she was able to walk. If you like the idea of possibly getting molested and or raped by a sleazy club owner who has a penchant for Southeast Asian strippers, this place is definitely for you. Oh, my God. The owner replied. John replied with a really long reply. But he started out with, thanks for coming out to Club Joy. Clearly from your review, I somehow offended you. I apologize for whatever it was. It's confusing because you call me both Adonis and Bill Cosby. How could I be both? I can 100% guarantee I did not drug your wife. I have never drugged anyone. I find the idea and accusation repulsive. What the fuck, dude? Yeah. And then he keeps going and basically claims that the guy must have drugged his own wife. If you're making some some drink underneath the fucking bar, what are you doing down there? You know what I mean? I would say the same thing. What the fuck are you doing? Why would you let your wife drink it? Why would, as a woman, not even like your, the husband yeah. lets your wife drink it, why would she drink it? Like, I don't know. The whole oh thing. Oh, my God. Well, what's weird is like, okay, so the creepy the creepy touching and all that stuff, um, I guess you kind of like, you can't like, what's the what's the word? You can't, um, you can't scan people, I guess, like coming in like, hey, you have a good record or whatever the fuck. You can't do that in this kind of club, I guess. I think you have to join like that online community before you come in, so there's oh, a little bit okay. of a background So it's not check. just paying a 20-hour cover charge and you're in Club Joy. I really don't know if you have to do the online thing. It seems most people do, so I don't know if you could just yeah. walk in or if you have to do but that But him first. giving creepy hugs and rubbing you and stuff, I mean, you already crossed the line of going into this club. Yeah. So it's not like you're at like a regular club and someone's touching you. So like with that, like this guy's just trying to swing with you. He's trying to start the party like Warren, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, True. But anything else is fucking creepy and like yeah. trying to drug and fucking, you know, dude, I would mm-hmm. lose my fucking mind. It seems like these communities self-police pretty well. Like yeah. so many people talk about like the rules that they establish with swingers, clubs, For and sure. parties. So yeah. as much as you're like, oh, I bet you there's a lot of creepy people there. It seems like they don't allow that. Because it's a small of, circle of yeah. people. Yeah. You're not allowed to go as a single man. Only single women can really? go. Men can only go if they're part of a couple. Oh. So that, that eases some of that worry that you're going to have a bunch of creepy dudes roaming around. Okay. Except the owner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I run this place, baby. <laughs> yeah. So that's a weird one. Oh my John God. C., the owner, getting yeah. in there and basically telling the husband, you're lying. And also, I got a phone call about something related to this three days before this review. And the guy spoke yeah. in similar language to you about drugs. So I think you're the one who's actually drugging people. That's what he said <laughs> later on in his Holy response. Shit. <laughs> Well, great place. Uh, Club Joy coming at you. We got another review coming at you. Uh, This is Amber B. from Hawthorne, California. Uh, She gave it a three star on May 18th, 2018. She said, been a while, so I went on Friday and it was dead as a doorknob. Everybody was outside smoking until like 2 a.m. And even though there was a party on the dance floor, nobody wanted to hook up with us. I guess we were too hot for the crowd. (laughs) My man was in a rush to have sex in every room because he paid $60 at the door and wanted to get his money's worth. By the time a couple came from behind me and started groping me like 2 a.m., I was done and denied them because I was drunk and couldn't even see if they were attractive. He was disappointed, and thus our swinger life has come to a halt, as well as our relationship. Here comes a comment from John C. of Club Joy. It's really long. Should I read it? Yeah, don't read the whole thing. Okay. He, he Just sa- read like the first sentence. He said, "Hi Amber, thanks for being a member of Club Joy. Are we getting low rating because of your ex?" And he just put X. All right. 
Sorry to hear about your breakup, but I think you deserve better. <laughs> you are a beautiful woman, and he shouldn't even flinch at spending sixty dollars for a night with you. Not sure why he was in a rush, because no matter what room he was in, he had a pleasure of being with you. I'm sure most guys would happily spend four times that on a normal date with you, ten times that to go a swing club with you. All right, this guy is fucking creepy. He was definitely <laughs> roofing that fucking drink. You should lose that man. I we can't be throwing around those accusations. John C., the owner of Club Joy, we're not sure if you did that, but you definitely came on a bit strong with that reply. Coming in too little hot, uh, Johnny. Mike Perkins with the allegation. He definitely roofied that girl. Oh, my God. But, yeah, that's a bit much. I love that that girl, like, one night of swinging that didn't go the way her boyfriend wanted, it's like, yeah. we're done. Because she wouldn't have sex with some random couple at two in the morning. Listen, I spent 60 bucks. I'm fucking in every room. Okay. (laughs) That's so funny. It's like when you spend my value. (laughs) It's like when you spend money on Disneyland and then you're like, I'm getting on every fucking ride. Yeah. I spent the money. (laughs) Yeah. Spend extra to skip the line. (laughs) Can you skip line to Swingers Club too? Maybe. (laughs) Could you imagine seeing that guy at the club just frantically running from room to room? Like, holy shit, that guy's on a mission. (laughs) 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 Gotta go. (laughs) <laughs> my god what a maniac oh my god where's your girlfriend she's in the other room i gotta fuck her i gotta fuck her i gotta fuck right now we're done anyway it's 2 a.m smoking okay oh here's an god, that's fucking great <laughs> that's so fucking funny grace c in honolulu hawaii oh. she left a five-star review on january 18th 2015 been swinging for about a year now. Went here last night with the boyfriend. Clean rooms, wipes, condoms, towels available. Terrible pool table, but that's not what you come for, right? <laughs> they have a coat check, but you gotta ask. BYOB, they have mixers and food. Had a really fun pasties and panty contest that included some voluptuous ladies. Found an amazing couple, did a soft swap, had a great night. Pure joy. Wow. Soft, think, what's a soft, soft swap? swap? I'm looking it up. Maybe it's just like, hey, here's my girlfriend. Take my girlfriend. Maybe. It's a term used by individuals who are into the swinger lifestyle or partner swapping. It refers to sexual activities in swinger play, but does not include penetrative sex of another person's partner. Oh. If I were to get into swinging, I, I think would be soft, soft swap. I would soft, do soft swapping swap. all day. Yeah. So you can just like you'll be just getting like going down each other and stuff. Feel some boobies, maybe. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> can I feel your boobies? Hey, listen, How old so I'm is just this guy? I'm soft swapping here. I, can I just feel some boobies? I guess I'm just here for I'm just here to feel some boobies. That's what I'm here to feel. <laughs> I'm here for the boobies. That's cool. You know, anytime you have like these kind of pro really sex positive comments from women on a page like this, it yeah. makes the whole place seem way better. Yeah. Like one of these comments is worth a hundred of Warren's. That's true. You know, I was swinging my dick in the play yeah. area. Swinging my dick in the play area. No one came in except for this guy that was really out of breath because he went in every room for <laughs> 60 bucks. <laughs> he was the only one that wanted to touch my dick. What happened there? <laughs> yeah. He just kept screaming something about getting his money's worth. It was weird. <laughs> yeah. Now, this is nice. A nice soft swap. You know, voluptuous ladies in a pasties and panty contest. Yeah. Look at that. You know, I'm going to use one of my favorite words here. That's titillating. It's just, this whole place is titillating. It is. They have titillating Tuesdays at this place. <laughs> <laughs> you get you get half off and everyone else is full off. You know oh, what I mean? yeah. Hello. Oh, yeah. baby. Uh, soft swap. Well, listen, speaking of soft swaps, we're about to finish it off right now, DJ. This is the final review of Club Joy in South Central LA. It went so quick. <laughs> That's what everyone says at the club <laughs> all the time. That's what our boy was saying when he's like, it's a fucking room. It's done. done." (laughs) Uh, So this is our final review. This is coming from Paul H. from L.A. Uh, He's given it a four star on February 15th, 2015. He says, went last night to 1415 for the first time. It was Valentine's Day, so it was super packed. I had a great time. Stayed from 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. We danced, played, and swapped. There are a lot of watchers who just sit around and watch, but I guess it's their choice. Only complaint, they seemed a little understaffed and stocked. They ran out of towels and condoms. Oh, shit. Yeah, there were no condoms around. I had to keep asking the security guard, LOL. Besides that great place, very diverse, you'll see young and old, black, white, Mexican, Armenian, etc. I'm definitely going back. A lot of hot, sexy couples. All right. 15 people found this useful. You know what's crazy is we've done a lot of reviews now. This is episode 44. Mm-hmm. And we always see like people hit funny or cool. 
these are the most useful thing we've ever True. seen, right? The other one had what, like thirty or something? Like Yeah. Warren got seventeen useful. Seventeen for useful? His. Wow. That's like a lot, dude. They ran out of condoms, holy shit. If you look down a couple from his comment, if you scroll down a bit more, you'll yeah. see one from Wayne Nancy W. And there's pictures of what like the play areas look like. Oh wow, what the fuck? It's like a, it's like a little bed, a big bed, and another little bed. So you're just there's a bunch of beds and couches. You're just that would just be a smorgasbord of bodies all just fucking. Yeah, you gotta have condoms, man. Yeah. Imagine being that security guard. Hey, you got condoms, man? I'm just a security guard, yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm not supposed to be giving you condoms. You should just bring your own in, right? Yeah, I would imagine. BYOC, you know? One review, (laughs) BYOC. (laughs) One guy complained that they didn't have condoms. They didn't have large condoms, so if you have a big dick, bring your own. (laughs) Hey, my dick is huge. I'm not going to be able to fit in this place. (laughs) Wow. So So funny. That was pretty good, Paul H., other than the no condoms thing. Very diverse. You'll see young and old, black, white, Mexican. That would be a crazy night, man. Oh, my God. If you, like, went home, you're like, okay, I fucked that old black lady, (laughs) that middle-aged Armenian (laughs) trick. I kissed that young white dude for some reason. I didn't know that was going to (laughs) happen. You know what I mean? Like, you're just... It's like, it's a small world, but for (laughs) for swingers, yeah. It gets crazy. It's insane. I don't know, man. The whole idea... I I would want to go in just to see what it's all about. Yeah. But then I'd end up being one of those creepy guys just watching. You can't go. Yeah, you can't go by yourself. No, I mean, I'd have to bring well, Matt. Like, yeah. Or hire an escort. <laughs> hey, is that what you can do? You can hire an escort and go in there if you're Some like, people were complaining, oh, it's not real couples. My first review from, I think it was Warren. Oh, yeah. He said, uh, he said, uh. A lot of couples with older men with girls half their age that are possibly escorts and not a real couple. Oh, so he just kind of a treat. He's trying work. to pay to get in there, yeah. Yeah, which I don't think is that bad because then yeah, that girl can still. Yeah. Although that girl might be like, I'm not getting paid extra to have sex, so That's I'm not going to do anything. Yeah. Yeah, she's on the clock, you know? Man, yeah. <laughs> on the clock. and You think you'd like to go? If you nah. met a girl, a new girlfriend... You, you know, you're new, so you're not that committed to her or attached yet. And she's like, hey, this is what I'm into. You want to come? I can't do it. We talked about this in a previous episode with the strip clubs. I can't even bring a girlfriend to a strip club. But she's not really your girlfriend yet. You've just hung out once. You like her, but you're not emotionally attached. Unless it's Tracy from the second review. <laughs> <laughs> you're already attached to Tracy. I you love her, man. Anybody I love her? her, man. You get your hands off, Tracy. <laughs> I don't know, man. She's That's spreading her ass cheeks for me. She seemed like she uh, yeah. is into this. No. <laughs> you stay away from Tracy. John, I don't want another drink, all right? I'm good. I had the one. I'm good. <laughs> Mike, you're a beautiful man. I'd pay <laughs> 10 times $60 to get you in here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I could ever go. I, I, I don't know if I can do it. Okay. Yeah. You're a conservative man. You uh, know, deep down, you, you have uh, traditional values. I do. I think I'm very like old school that way. Mm-hmm. You know, you think Tony Soprano would go to a club like this with one of his escort? Definitely not with Khan. Well, I think, but that's a different thing, though. That's like just some. I mean, you're with a bunch of strippers. You know what I mean? Or escorts. But I can't bring a girl that I care about. So you would go with a bunch of escorts? I think if it was like, hey, it's a night of like just, just banging a bunch of girls. It's like you're a traditional man. <laughs> A traditional man, DJ, but I also have needs. No, I don't know. I wouldn't be able to. I don't know. That's too much. I don't know, man. Too much to handle anymore, too. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's why I'm glad, like, I didn't come to Hollywood and like tw- when I was, like, 18 to, like, 21 and shit. I'd be, like, at these crazy Hollywood parties and stuff and being, like. It would definitely be overwhelming. You know? I feel like we're, like, very, like, uh. I don't know. I'm in my in my ways now that I am, but I'm also like I guess conservative, but also like I have more of a focus than just being like hey, fucking yeah, club joy, blah, blah blah blah. Every fucking room, like our boy that went with his fucking girlfriend and lost that girl. Yeah, you know what I mean. He lost that girl, but what, he got his money's worth. What do you think? Do you think you could go? Like you, I said, you and Madge down the road, like you know. Uh, no, not with Madge. If no. in an alternate universe where I didn't get married and I had met somebody who said let's go here, fuck yeah, I would have. I would have loved to. Okay. Explore, see what it's all about. Yeah. Bring my own condoms. <laughs> Cause I got that big old. <laughs> nah, it's pretty average. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be honest. <laughs> I don't want to lie in this community. All right. No, no, no. <laughs> this isn't a community. We gotta of lies. keep it honest. <laughs> in the Reviewster community, that's who I care about. Yep, exactly. 
Well, my favorite review, Mike, uh, I got to go with Tracy because she brought a lot of business to that place. Yeah. You got a beautiful girl uh, <laughs> saying, I love this place. That's bringing in thousands of dollars. Yeah. So I'm going with Tracy. Uh -huh. And uh, overall, I'm going to give this place. Um, hmm. Do you think it was a? Fi I think it was five stars because of the titillation. Yep, it's titillation. You're, yeah, you're tittled. You're tittled. And so I'm gonna give it five pasties and panty contests. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. I'm, I also have to go with Tracy. Yeah, because she sold me on it. You know what I mean? Where yeah. I'm like, holy shit! Like that girl is gorgeous. Like if I seen a girl like that there, I'd be like, this is the fucking best place ever. But then if I seen Warren shaking his dick around, I'd be like, why don't we just go to the comedy store and hang out? You know what I mean? <laughs> but you know, we're shitting on Warren too. But you gotta have guys who are into it too. Like, I guess. Would you, so. would you rather have him or some guy who's just trying to fuck chicks and not really participating in the swinger culture? He was with his girl. He was trying oh, to get things true. going. I don't know. It's been fun to shit on Warren, but before we leave today, I got to say, I think I think Warren's heart and dick was in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking funny. What rating uh, are you giving it? I'm going to give it a five, five uh, titillated towels uh, that they ran out of. Um, the towels that he... Oh, yeah, they ran out of they towels, out not of towels. just condoms. But yep. Damn, man, you know it's getting feisty in there when you need to towel off that they're running out of towels <laughs> right <laughs> god damn what a place <laughs> club joy i'm glad you exist club joy let's just yeah. say that me too let's go together we should go check now. it out let's check it out we're gonna go right now guys uh <laughs> it's been fun <laughs> what a fun episode it was a fun episode well yep. thanks for tuning in maybe we'll catch you guys at club joy we'll see you on the online community at the very least yep. we'll establish our norms and our boundaries yeah tell us your favorite uh episode of ours too in the online community and then we'll talk about it you know what i mean that's right so and maybe we'll be soft swapping with you soon <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you next week guys i'm dj demers i'm mike perkins peace